Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Let's Study Life with Parthiv Freedom Das. I'm back again with a brand new session for continuing our second chapter. Let's quickly move to our today's topic. So, today we get a new topic that is micro gametogenesis. In my previous videos, I have already mentioned that when the term micro is coming, you have to relate it with the male part. So, let's first define micro gametogenesis. The process of formation of male gamete from the pollen grain is called microgametogenesis. The process by which male gamete is formed from the pollen grain in case of plant is referred to as microgametogenesis. So, there are two basic steps involved in microgametogenesis. Pre-pollination development which refers to the steps involved before pollination and post-pollination development the steps that are involved after pollination. I hope it's clear. Now see what happens. Pre-pollination development. I have written here same as microsporogenesis. If you can remember, in my previous videos, I have already mentioned about microsporogenesis. At the same time, I have also discussed a diagrammatic representation of the same. So you must go through the previous videos so that your concept is clear. If you haven't understood the concept of microsporogenesis. When you will study about microsporogenesis, then it will be crystal clear in your mind that this stage or this entire process is similar to that of pre-pollination development. Before pollination, the stages that are involved is similar to that of microsporogenesis. Next, post-pollination development. Here you have to understand the concept very nicely. Now see what I have written. Let's draw a rough sketch. Let's move forward. Now see, this diagram, I hope you remember this diagram. It's the diagrammatic representation of pollen grain. The outer layer is exine. The innermost layer is intine. The bigger cell is the vegetative cell. And the smaller one is the generative cell. I hope you can recall. Now see, we have to study about this. In the post-pollination developmental stages, what happened? In this stage, germination take place okay in this stage germination take place the pollen grains are stimulated by the secretion of stigma and undergo germination now what happened during germination during germination the exine break and the intine grows to form the pollen tube okay now see this is the exine region during germination, the exine region will break. Yes, it has already broken. And the intine region, that is the innermost layer of pollen grain, it will grow and form the pollen tube. A tube-like structure is formed and this tube-like structure is referred to as the pollen tube. I hope the concept is clear. These are the two nucleus, generative nucleus and tube nucleus. Like see, when the entire region will break, at that moment, both the vegetative and the generative cell will also enter into the pollen tube. When they enter into the pollen tube, they will transform themselves into generative nucleus and tube nucleus. I hope you got the concept. Okay, let me repeat once again. At the time of germination, the exine, that is the outermost layer of pollen grain, will break and the entire region will grow to form the pollen tube. Now, what happens? The vegetative cell and the generative cell of the pollen grain will enter into the pollen tube and they will transform themselves into generative nucleus and tube nucleus. This much is completed. Let's move forward to the last stage where we will see the formation of male gamete. Now see what happens. The vegetative, the generative nucleus when enter into the pollen tube divides to form the male gamete. Now see this generative nucleus, when they enter into the pollen tube, they will break or they will rapture and they will form two male gametes. See, generative nucleus divides to form two male gametes. The generative nucleus will divide or the, you can say it will rapture to form two male gametes. These are the two male gametes that is formed from the generative nucleus. I hope the concept is clear. Now, the question arises that what happens to the tube nucleus? So, the tube nucleus degenerates. After certain period of time, the tube nucleus will get degenerated. I hope the concept is clear. Let's uh, discuss for the last time. So, microgametogenesis is the process by which male gamete formation takes place in plants. 
it involves two steps. The first is pre-pollination development, which is totally similar to that of microsporogenesis. And the next is post-pollination development, which are the developmental process involved after pollination. This is the structure of a pollen grain. The outer layer is exine, the inner one is entine. Having the, the bigger cell, that is vegetative cell, and the smaller one is generative cell. In the post-pollination development, germination take place. At the moment of germination, the exine, that is the outermost layer of the pollen grain, breaks and the entine grows to form the pollen tube. The vegetative cell and the generative cell enters into the pollen tube and they are transformed into generative nucleus and tube nucleus. I hope the concept is clear. And the last stage involves the process in which male gamete formation takes place. In this stage, when the generative nucleus enters into the pollen tube, they divide and as a result of which two male gametes are formed. These are the two male gametes which are formed from the generative nucleus. And the tube nucleus ultimately gets degenerated. I hope the concept is clear in your mind. Thank you and have a nice day.